Hello everyone! Today we will paint an interior painting with acrylic with gold leaf, just such a hummingbirds on a gold background. You can use either gold or silver leaf. I will use gold. We need a canvas and a stretcher. Acrylic colors white, black, amber, ochre, blue, yellow and cherry color. We also need a special glue for gilding for gluing. Paper napkins, pellets for mixing paints, synthetic brush flat, thin, simple pencil, pellet knife and a glass of water. Now we need to draw a pencil sketch and draw a hummingbird. It's better not to draw the object in the center. I suggest moving it to the upper right corner, so the compositional work will look more advantageous. Now we outline and don't draw much. Everything is schematic. The main thing is to determine the size of the birds and draw it. I noticed the lights were on and I thought you might be home, I wasn't sure. Thank you. 
Next we start to color. Take a palette and the scene is cinematic brush for drawing a hummingbird. We paint with acrylic paints. Acrylic paints dry quite quickly, so we won't have to dry anything for a long time. Water-based acrylic paints. The more water you add, the more liquid and transparent they are. Try to use the minimum amount of water. Try to moisten excess water on a napkin. Let's get started. Let's start moving from top to bottom. We start with the rear wing. We apply shades from dark to light. As the paint is applied, we diversify the image by adding different shades to it. The lighter the image, the more white I add. You can go straight to work. For smoother transitions, you can blend paint directly on the canvas at the colored transitions, learning to create a gradient. Don't forget that acrylic is easy to overlap. You can always correct mistakes and overlay with a new layer. Remember to rinse your brush well when changing colors. When drawing a hummingbird, we will gradually move on to different parts and come back again. Acrylic dries quickly, don't try to mix too much at once. It's useless, you still have to mix similar colors. Don't try to copy everything. Creativity is good because you can do everything your own way. Also don't forget, acrylic darkens as it dries. Keep this in mind when mixing colors and try to apply the paint tightly so that the pencil doesn't show through. All irregularities in the image can be corrected with gold leaf. Any excess water or paint can always be removed with a dry brush.
Next, we will proceed with gold leafing. But before that, dry the paint very well. You can dry it with a hair dryer for 5-10 minutes. Check again that everything is dry. You can return to drawing details later. First, we calmly cover our canvas with glue, then glue the leaf. Apply the glue in a thin lower evenly. If you can't see where you applied the glue, look at the canvas at the angle and see. For more details areas, like hummingbirds, use a thinner brush. If you miss something, don't worry, you can always add glazed glue. If you don't plan to frame the picture, grease the sides with glue so that you can also glue the leaf on them. Then we proceed to gilding with gold leaf. Don't forget to wash the brush well and dry it beforehand. It will come in handy at the end. We will smooth it and remove excess sweet. We take the leaflets. I will show you two ways to apply the gold leaf. The first method you apply the whole leaflets and the second way you apply the leaflets in pieces. The leaf is very thin. Carefully lay out the leaf and smooth the leaf with gentle movements of a dry brush. Where there is no glue, the bottle will not stick. Try not to hit areas with glue with a dry brush. No matter how you lay out the gold leaf, in general it will look like a single surface. After you have glued the leaf, you need to brush off the remnants with a dry brush. If you find gaps somewhere, apply glue in this place and glue the pieces of leaf. So now we will put on the gold. Remove all objects that might interfere with you. When applying the glue, be careful. Where you apply the glue, the bottle will stick here. You can always add gold leaf, you can't remove it, or it's very difficult. Take your time, the glue dries for a long time, apply it gently without going over the edges. After I have brushed off all the gold, I will return to the pieces. Apply glue to the right places, let it sit for 3 minutes and glue the leaf.
we'll finish painting the hummingbirds. Paint better details and make smooth transitions. Take a thin brush, a clean palette and acrylic paints. We proceed to the last stage. We will work with a palette knife. We take white paint, stir it with a palette knife and put it on the palette with the back of the palette knife. We take small amount of paint on a palette knife and begin to stretch the paint on the canvas from bottom to the top with light movements. At the base you can make denser strokes, and the higher the lighter. Movements can be both vertical and horizontal. Our work is ready. Thank you for being with us. Leave your comments below and watch other videos on our YouTube channel.